Kira, I'm Pat and this is Pat's Postcard, an audio postcard from wherever I am. And I'm in the middle of nowhere, somewhere in the high country of New Zealand's South Island. If you create a triangle between Blenheim, Kaikoura and Hanmer Springs, you'll find the Molesworth Station, New Zealand's largest farm, nearly 190,000 hectares. Molesworth Recreation Reserve, to give its proper name is crown land managed by the department of conservation with the triple objectives of farming there's 10,000 head of cattle here conservation with many unique land forms and species and recreation it's a fantastic spot to tramp mountain bike fish or hunt it's a vast wild country of extremes very hot in the summer 31 degrees whilst we're here cold with snow in the winter and a huge variation of rainfall from east to west. The mountains rise to 2,600 meters and are dissected by the Clarence River and its tributary, the Acheron. We're here as Department of Conservation volunteer wardens at the historic Acheron accommodation campsite. More on this in the next Pat's Postcard. As a warden, we live on the campsite Check that the campers are registered and have their COVID passes and most importantly, clean the toilets. As part of our role as volunteer wardens, we also have to check in each day on the radio for safety. Cop Cottage, Cop Cottage, this is Acheron, copy. Acheron, this is Cop Cottage, over. Good morning, just our usual morning check-in. All good here. We had nobody in the campsite last night. Uh, another beautiful day. Likewise here, no one, no one overnight. Um, could be quite quiet over the next few days, I suspect. Over. I suspect you're all right. Uh, anyway, enjoy the day and we'll talk with you tomorrow. Over. Molesworth Station is a working farm and because of its scale, a lot of communication also takes place on the radio. Most of it seemed to be about where the cattle was. When the chores are done, we head off to explore along the hot and dusty gravel roads. So what's the outside temperature, Wend? Well, it's 27. 27? Yeah. Goodness. Thank Love goodness for the air conditioning. Loving <laughs> yeah. it. So the fantastic view here, straight down the glacial Clarence Valley, looking down on the confluence of the Asheron and the Clarence itself, I guess. Where are we off to today then, Wendy? Don't really know. <laughs> Pudding Hill, isn't it? And if it's not too hot, we'll walk up it. It's about an hour and a half on this very rutted gravel road. So and then much about dust. How long a walk? About an hour's walk. Oh Jesus. Yeah, in this heat it might not be no. doable. Anyway, we're going to get a swim in as well. I think we're going to go over there to that bridge in a minute. We've got and, the picnic. Uh, we've got the, we've got the scrogging. We've got the water. We've got the sunblock. We've got the sunglasses. We've got the... We've, we've got, got the lot. We've got the lot. So let's go and see this historic bridge and see if we can get a swim down there. Let's do it. Oh, it isn't very far, is it? And we had an amazing swim in this deep hole on the lower Acheron with the brown trout and the long finned eels. Me first. So time for a swim. Might be cold. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Definitely a mountain river. Oh. oh, it's lovely though. Wow, what a spot. Woof. I think I'm going to get out though. Oh, it's making my neck ache. Oh, that was lovely. If cold. Then it was Wendy's turn. Oh, oh, fresh. 
amazing. <laughs> Got to do it now, haven't I? Got to do it now. God. Oh. Just go. Yeah? Yeah. Don't go too far out. Oh. <laughs> oh, it chills you to the bone. I know, it made my neck ache. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Swimming against the current the here. Current. Much harder. Oh. oh, that's enough. Yeah, you don't want to stay in long. Oh. Oh. <laughs> For that. What's that when? Refreshing. The lower Acheron River is lovely with deep pools as it flows through a small gorge with cascades. What a spot. Watching the water through the lower Acheron Gorge. The Acheron is the tributary of the Clarence River, one of the bigger rivers in the South Island where you can go on a five day rafting expedition ending up at its mouth on the Pacific coast. However, we went the other way, up another gravel road to its source at Lake Tennyson. On the way up to Lake Tennyson, amazing scenery, you've got the corrugates are horrible. The road seemed to go on and on forever, but we got there in the end. Well, we reached Lake Tennyson and what an amazing bowl of mountains, wildness, and uh, the lake is beautiful. Uh, high craggy mountains and it's midsummer, and there's still some snow on some of the tops of the mountains and it's very windy. I'm gonna open the car door. straight up the lake to the source of the River Clarence and it's rather rather magnificent but a bit too windy for me out here I don't think we'll be going swimming today as well as sightseeing there was another purpose to the trip so what have you just been doing Wendy well I've been checking the toilets at Tennyson Lake in the middle of Molesworth station in the middle of nowhere and it must be one of the most remotest toilets in New Zealand. <laughs> I would say so. I could barely get in the toilet to clean it because of the wind and then I couldn't get out either. <laughs> because of the wind. Because of the wind. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a wild place up here. <laughs> the things we do, most people come to these places to walk or to mountain bike. Well I walk with my bucket to the toilet <laughs> to clean it. The things we do, eh? <laughs> Molsa Station is an amazing spot and what a great way to spend 10 days in a place that you would not normally get to see.